Hello. Is it on? Yep. Hello. Hi. I'm Rob Slaughter, co-founder and CEO of Defense Unicorns. And today, I'm going to introduce you to a product that's going to change the world. But first, I'm going to share with you a dirty little secret about the DoD. OK? So all of us have been in this room. I have been sitting back there and a little bit over there. And I have been simply amazed by all of the companies and how amazing the mission capability is that I saw demoed on this stage. The sad truth is, those same capabilities today do not live on the actual mission systems themselves. And why is that? It's because mission systems today are so outdated and so insecure, you wouldn't believe it. For myself, in a previous life, I helped manage a multi-billion dollar weapon system. That weapon system was on a software baseline that was over 20 years old. I was terrified. Why? Because your ability to update your software is your OODA loop. Also, the number one cyber vulnerability in the DoD is outdated software. For everyone else, software is eating the world. But in defense, software has eaten our lunch. But that's OK, because at Defense Unicorns, we are on a mission to make software a strategic deterrent. What that means is that you'll have the ability to update any mission system on demand in minutes, not months or years. It means your entire software baseline is CVE-free, compliant, works in degraded, denied, and air-gapped environments. It means your ability to update your software baseline is so superior, your software OODA loop is so fast that your adversaries are afraid to ever enter an engagement. This might sound like a fantasy, but the reality is, is that the capability to do this exists today and has already been fielded. And we call it UDS. Now, UDS is a paradigm shift in platform technology. See, the entire software ecosystem thinks of this entire room in the defense community as late adopters. That means that your mission requirements, maybe if they get to them, might be later on in their software development roadmap. At Defense Unicorns, what we did is build a platform system from the ground up purposely built for defense systems. Now, we've been building this platform system for the last three and a half years, and they've only given me 10 minutes, so I can't talk about all the technology that goes into UDS. But I can talk about some of the mission impact we've already created. We've worked with the Department of the Navy, nuclear submarine community, delivering a software capability four years ahead of schedule. We worked with the Department of the Air Force, showing how you can update an aircraft twice in one hour where that same baseline was previously updated once a year. And we've worked with our partners in SEIC, standing up an entire classified environment in two days, where traditional means would have taken weeks to months. Now, instead of me continuing to talk about UDS, how about we show you? Wayne, over to you. Is the main view into UDS as it's operating on a Kubernetes cluster. From this main view, we can see a lot of the things that UDS can bring into your cluster. We can see that we have a couple applications deployed here. We have some core services from UDS, and these are broken down into what we call functional layers, which allows you to actually optimize the layers that you use of UDS for your mission requirements, your security requirements, and to optimize size, weight, and power for your deployment. And you can see here on this laptop, we're not using very much memory and CPU to run the platform. You can also see that we have a breakdown of the CVEs for this environment, and this is tailored to the applications that are actually deployed here. We could actually dig into the software bill materials for each of these applications and actually be able to triage this for this environment. Applications come into UDS through OCI, or Open Container Initiative, compliant artifacts that can be traverse any OCI compliant registry to include many cross-domain solutions. You can see here, this is the UDS registry, which is our implementation of an OCI compliant registry. At the top, we have some applications that come from our AirGap App Store, which has over 100 pre-integrated applications with UDS core that you can pull and use in your environment. You can also upload your own mission applications into UD the UDS registry, and you can see that we have a tactical org mission app here. 
clicking on it, we can view that we, ha we can see that we have lots of different versions, and we can see those same vulnerabilities and SBOM information from this view as well, so that you know exactly what you're bringing into your environment before it gets there. So how do applications get into the environment? Well, under the hood, it's using open standards and ZARF to actually package and deploy your applications as a declarative artifact. And what that means is we define the end state for this artifact so that you can more easily debug it across multiple applications. You're not just bringing over the images and configuration, you're bringing them everything together. So, go, so now that that's actually deployed, we can actually go back to the UDS UI and we can see that we have this mission application here. Opening this up, you can see there's this new thing here and remember this UI because you're gonna see it here in a few minutes. Going into what also makes UDS special, if we actually click on the UDS packages, you can actually see that there are some resources here that were created by the UDS operator under the hood. These resources were created dynamically by that operator and were not hard-coded into the package, meaning the same package can work on the cloud, on-prem, or the tactile edge, making it very flexible across any DDIL environment. Back to you, Rob. Simply put, UDS is made for defense systems, but there's just one problem. When war kicks off, it is warfighters themselves that have to figure out how to maintain their own software baselines. And it's this insight that has led to the new product announcement that we're gonna share with you today. Um, we've never talked about this publicly before, so we're excited to announce it live on stage, that UDS is now available for tactical edge systems. What this means is really two things. First of all, UDS tactical edge is so easy, anyone can use it. Anything from a pilot to my grandma. Secondly, anytime the Department of Defense talks about edge systems, it gets super confusing. You go talk to somebody about edge, and they might mean a submarine. You go talk to somebody else about edge, and they might mean a small drone. Within UDS, when we talk about edge, we actually mean both, because we have the ability within UDS Tactical Edge to deploy to edge servers all the way to small, lightweight drones as simple as a Raspberry Pi. And with that, we're gonna show you our next demo, which in this, what we're doing is taking the mission application that Wayne just uploaded, we're pushing it to Starlink, and sending it halfway across the world to Eastern Europe, where a US ally is downloading the package and with the swipe of his hand, doing an over there update of a tactical drone. Let's watch the video. Hi, Volodymyr Kolin from Eastern Europe. We are going to take an application package uploaded by Defense Unicorn's team to UDS registry in States and deploy the software first at a time over the air to a tactical small drone here in Eastern Europe. First thing, let's check the mission application. We have it not fully functional running. It may be due to different reasons, jamming cyber attack. Returning to UDS application, you see that we can now download the application update that Wayne has uploaded to UDS registry in state. To do that, I simply click in the update button. While it's updating, you can see the drone here. The drone is fully air-gapped and connected only to this tablet and is running the application we showed you. Once again, the application is not fully functional. We are updating it, and we are aiming to resolve this. To do that, we are going to deploy updated software to the drone. By simply clicking the deploy button, we are pushing the update over the air to the drone and installing it. On your screen, you will see the recording. It's installed, and in order to see it, we need to switch to the tablet, and it's fully functional now. Eugen, you're good to go. It's remarkable how simple it is and how easy was the deployment. I haven't seen anything like this in my lifetime. That's it from Eastern Europe. We would like to thank everyone in state for continuous support and allied partnership. At Defense Unicorns, we are on a mission to make software a strategic deterrent. And we're making that possible today using our defense first platform system, UDS, and now available UDS Tactical Edge. Whether you are a tank, a plane, a, a drone, an autonomous system, an on-prem network, 
or a cloud, UDS can help your mission today. So later on today, if you'd like to hear more, please stop by and see myself, any of the Defense Unicorns team. We're easy to recognize because we typically have a unicorn on our swag. Thank you for your time. <laughs>